Threadripper is mainly for your high-end desktop enthusiasts, but I don't want to discount the fact that it's a platform for everyone. So the 16 core is for people that want to create something incredible. It's focused toward content creators, but at the same time, it's also a good solution for gamers. This is the Gaming 7. Uh, you have your eight DIMM slots, you have your M.2s, three M.2s total. This is the first time where the pins aren't on the processor. It's now on the board again. The socket is actually, it has a slide rail that allows you to easily install the CPU without having to worry about it. I consider myself a veteran builder where I have to lay the CPU in very carefully, but with this one, all I do is slide it in and I drop it down and it's done. We've introduced digital LEDs to this new AMD platform. Everyone's always saying, well, aren't LED lights LED lights? But with digital, you can actually control each individual piece. There's eight different patterns for digital LEDs. These are the things that we've included in the software, but you still have control over regions, you have controls over all of the things that we've seen before, as well as more enhanced control on memory, as well as peripherals. We've included features on the board, USB 3.1 Type-C, front panel Type-C headers, as well as all of the safety and durability, so it has Q-Flash. We've included Wi-Fi on the board. One of the cool things I like about this platform is you get full control. You're no longer limited by the number of PCIe lanes that you can use. On this board, you can see right now there's two by 16s, two by eights, and a by four. And with the three M.2s there, you're getting an additional 12, that's 64 PCIe lanes. These we call thermal guards, and these heat sinks actually dissipate heat at a very fast rate. We've done some internal testing in our headquarters where we've taken multiple M.2 drives, we've taken other boards, other armor shields, um, and placed it on it, and we've done transfer speed tests. And you can see after the first few minutes, we've had a lot of competitors drop out. So for this board, as you can see actually, it's a little bit different from what you have seen from our other boards. There's actually two colors on the heat sinks. This heat sink was actually redesigned because it draws so much power. So we've talked to modders about this. Um, they're excited, we have AMD fanboys, and I can't wait to see the builds on these systems.